Hey, don't forget the, the Cavaliers game can be seen on Channel 43 tonight. Uh, uh, Fox Sports and TNT. Three stations. You know, did, you ever, did you ever think about that? The Cavaliers game could be seen on three stations tonight. Channel 43, they're free. And, of course, your cable stations, uh, TNT and Fox Sports, right? Yep. The Browns are never seen on three stations. <laughs> really? Would you want to watch the Browns? Well, I mean, I'm, no, I'm just saying. But well, they were in the playoffs many times. You know, the Cav- uh, the Indians never on three stations, right? If the- When they were in the playoffs? No, but actually that would be a possibility, though, depending on how the situation was set up. See, the Cavaliers do it because all of their games, except for network ones, are on cable TV. Fox Sports Ohio carries it. And at least during the playoffs, they give the opportunity for people who don't have cable to view the playoff games. <laughs> Now, once we get on to the next round, I think when Channel uh, ABC carries it, then you'll get that on the local stations just on five. Yeah. But but otherwise, there's no real need. I mean, all the other sports, it would already be on local TV to begin with. My point is the Browns are never on three stations. They never need to be. The Indians were never on three stations in the playoffs. The Cavaliers are on three stations. Think about that for a second. It's pretty cool, ain't it? It's fantastic. I know Stevie's brain is short circuiting now. I don't know. I don't think he's here right. It, it, it would short circuit trying to watch three. The Browns, when they were in the playoffs, were never on three stations. The cool. Indians, when in the playoffs, were never on three stations. The Cavaliers are kind of cool, ain't it? They're on Channel Forty Three tonight. Fox and TNT. You probably could just flip through every Cleveland station and find the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight, if they were allowed to be. Oh, and the next round of the playoffs, second round, eh, the Cavaliers. Will, Take care of Chicago tonight by about 20. Trust me on that one. Uh, the next round starts either Tuesday or Wednesday. All teams in the first round have to be done before the second round can start. And I think Sunday would be game seven, if I'm not mistaken, wouldn't it? Of, for all yes. teams, right? Okay, put, yeah. So we give them a couple of days, and then Tuesday and Wednesday starts the second round. So the Cavaliers will play Boston who has a 3-1 to one lead on Miami, probably, either Tuesday or Wednesday night of next week. All right, let's go back uh, to the phone lines here. Uh, Tom, you're in the air. True. Hey, Megadegos. Yes, yeah, Megadegos, Tom. Hey, uh, I don't mean to, to bust your coombs and gums here, but mm. um, a few minutes ago you were talking about chocolate and depression, and the study doesn't say that chocolate causes depression. It says that people that eat more chocolate are more likely to be depressed. Boy, I'd like, Tom, if you were here right now, I would kick you in the shin. <laughs> Why is that true? What I do? Because that's saying chocolate causes depression. No, it's not. It's saying that people that eat a lot of chocolate are more likely to be depressed, <laughs> not that it causes depression. It, like I said, Tom, if you were here, I'd kick you in the chin. It's just like a guy over here. To, well, wait a minute. Stevie's got to help me out here, okay? When we put okay. the uh, Ireland Cancer Center thing up on the website, right, uh-huh. I, to, the, the, the donate button, I wanted it blinking, right? Okay. Okay. Well, they, the, the, the web guy here told me blinking is old-fashioned. That's out. Okay. So what he has it now, he has it flashing. What, what Why they, is that? Wait, no, wait a minute. What do they call it, Steve? The, the flashing versus blinking? Yes. What was the, the terminology? Instead of blinking, he said... You, you don't want it to blink, you want it to flash. Right. <laughs> they have a rotating image. Rotating, right. So you want it rotating, which is blinking. It's the same thing you're saying, Tom. Well, <laughs> no, say, I Tom, say, think... Tom, Tom, say it one more time, okay? Okay. When you, you said that... If you eat chocolate, it causes depression. Yeah, and you're, and what, and you're what, saying? What I'm saying is that people that, uh, let me put it a different way, people that have depression tend to eat more chocolate. Okay. Not that the chocolate causes the depression. All right. Yeah. That's all. Okay, all right, let's take a listen here. Dark chocolate may say more about your mood than about your sweet tooth. A study finds that an appetite for chocolate, dark or otherwise, may be linked to depression. The red flag is when you overindulge, about 12 ounces of chocolate a month. The more chocolate, the worse the depression. The precise link is not clear. It may be that craving chocolate is self-treatment for depression. Chocolate triggers the release of certain chemicals in the brain that produce feelings of pleasure. But it's short-lived, and after that Hershey bar comes the crash. Bill Fitka, Fox News Radio. What am I missing in this? Seriously, I mean, it's, it's getting hard for me to communicate with people. 
I think pretty soon I'm going to be like a Glenn Beck. I'm just or a Rush. I'm not even going to take phone calls. I'm just going to talk. Get up on a platform and just talk and cry. Let me do my Glenn Beck imitation. You ready? You ever hear my Glenn Beck imitation? I have not heard that. No. It's tremendous. Tell me if I don't nail him. Here's Glenn. Here's Trevisano doing Glenn Beck. Take a listen. I've been working on this. Huh? Sounds just like him. It does huh? sound just like him. Huh? Yeah. That with a big pause attached to it. Now, in that chocolate news story there, which, again, if you believe that kind of stuff, you're crazy, because just, just a couple of months ago they were telling us how great dark chocolate was for us. It says the more chocolate you eat, the more depressed you get. But he's saying the chocolate doesn't cause depression. You want to listen one more time? Dark chocolate may say more about your mood than about your sweet tooth. A study finds that an appetite for chocolate, dark or otherwise, may be linked to depression. The red flag is when you overindulge about 12 ounces of chocolate a month. The more chocolate, the worse the depression. The more chocolate, the worse the depression. What are you missing there? Do we do traffic yet? No. I didn't hear the music. I didn't want to interrupt you. Let me get my uh, <clears throat> Glenn Beck impression in one more time. I'm great at Glenn. I, I got him down. <clears throat> like, I got to clear my throat. <clears throat> I sound just like much. <clears throat> That's amazing. The Dad commercial can run, but they took uh, the uh, Mr. Rooter commercial off. Makes perfect sense. Doesn't it? You know, when I tell you that I am living in a world I don't understand, I could give you example after example after example after example. I, I think the best way, though, that I could illustrate living in a world I don't understand to make sense to a lot of people, is, is it up on our page yet? Do, are we having... We're having a little web issue, so, so some people are seeing it, some aren't. If you're following us on Facebook... Uh, the article and the images are linked up there. Uh, go to WTAM.com. I don't know if you got to go to Facebook or the trip page where you got to go, but we got the two billboards up there of the uh, whoever the, the nuts put them up there for uh, breast milk satisfies one white baby, one black baby, and the black baby has some milk on its lip. The white baby doesn't. And somehow, some way, they turn this into a racial topic. If that doesn't solidify me saying that I'm living in a world I don't understand, I really don't know what does. I really don't. I don't know. Maybe maybe they put the because the the the, the milk wouldn't show up as much on the white skin as it would on the darker skin. Maybe they did it for that reason. But we even had a teacher call us that I, I really feel kind of sorry for, uh, and nothing against her at all. But the thinks that, that it's chocolate milk and somebody did this by design so everybody would scream and yell racism when they designed these billboards. It's, I really don't understand how people have lost their mind in this country. I really just don't understand it. Uh, Joe, you're in the air. Uh, Mr. Trevisano. Yeah. Um, I'm going from down around Canton, and right at about the time that I turned you on and started hearing about this billboard, I happened to pass one of the billboards that they have down here on State Route 62 with the black baby on it, and there's no doubt that the milk is natural colored milk. It's There's no tinge to it at all. So just trying to... Yeah, I, yep. mean, I mean, it's it's crazy. I mean, maybe because of the baby's color of the skin, the milk looks a little different tint. Do you follow me? Right. I, I can understand that. But, yeah, going so far as trying to say that it's, you know, pigmented chocolate milk is just insane. And and to turn it into a racial, I don't know how you turn this racial. It, 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 people seem like they just want to. They can't let things go. No, well, it's 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 people like Philip Morris, it's people like that that want to fuel this because it's easy. It's an easy way out for people in the media industry. Right. It, yeah, it, it's, just a, it's just an easy, 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 easy way out. 
I mean, it's just, it's no different than the black kids that executed the two white kids. One lived, though, that shot in the back of the head downtown Cleveland last year. Ama- reverse that. Imagine if two white kids execution style shot two black guys. Oh, the media would have a ball with that. You're out there saying, well, how come this is not getting any attention? This is what I tried to tell you yesterday. Because it's not spicy for the media to take it in that direction. There's no spice there. So news ain't going to make a big deal out of it's two black guys killing a white guy, two white guys. Well, one of them lived. But reverse it, and you see now all the spices that are added? They even threw some oregano in there. All the spices now come together for the news media. It was two white guys, four or five white guys, excuse me, that got two black guys down on their knees and shot them in the back of the head, execution style. The media would run like with that story for months, months. He's starting to get, see, I'm starting to expose it for you if you'd only pay attention. It's all about spicing the story up today. It's not no longer just reporting on the story. It's no longer being first because nobody can be first anymore. There's too much media. You don't even know who's first any longer. Years ago, how many times you hear, we had it first. You don't even hear that anymore. Because it's almost impossible to have anything first because a blogger might have it first. So the media now, they, 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 you don't even hear them talk about that. We had it first. You don't even hear that anymore. You hardly ever hear that. What they do now, and I don't care what media outlet it is, they spice the story up. They go with juicy, the juicy side of the story, whichever it may be. Example, two white kids killed execution style, shot in the back of the head, excuse me, execution style. One lives, one dies. Five black guys, two white guys. Black guys do the shooting, right? No spicing up there. You just report on that story. Now, reverse it. Two white guys make five, I mean, five white guys make two black guys kneel, take the gun, put it in the back of their head, and like Al Capone, shoot them execution style. You see the spice now? You see the juice? That's how that story would have been reported. That's exactly how every media outlet would have reported that story. Everyone. Oh, you would still be hearing about it if two black kids got shot execution style by white guys. Now it's just another one sentenced. It's the way it is. You got billboards. (laughs) A black baby, a white baby. Breast milk satisfies. Got billboards. They turned it into a racial topic. Two little innocent babies, cute as can be, one black, one white. The media wants to turn it racial. Commentary. Metro section. Philip Morris. Ah. What? What are you trying to tell me here? You get it now? You're starting to understand? Pay attention. People pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for the education I'm providing free for you. Pay attention. You'll learn. Gary, the numbers guy. How you doing, Mike? What are you doing? What'd you do? Make a wrong turn? Uh, he made a couple, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I heard through the grapevine you might be going to Vegas. Uh, um, we'll see what happens. Why? Some are the, are the numbers aligning or what? I'm in my. Remember that year I told you that if you go to Vegas, you'll do very, very well. Yeah. You're in your 11 year cycle. Right. I just happen to be in one of those now. Really? Mm-hmm. How you doing? I, winning online, for God's sake! <laughs> if go. you could do that, you could do anything. You can do anything. That's for sure. You can do anything if you can win online. So, uh, what's going on? Anything interesting? You know, we a have lot a, of elevens in the news. I heard we have. I mean, hell, the Mega Millions up to one ninety one. That's Wait. an eleven right there too. One ninety one. <laughs> what would you do if you won one hundred ninety one million? Uh, run for politics. 
Very simply. Run for politics. A lot of people want to take a vacation. A lot of people want to, you know, buy mansions, yachts. I run for politics. I'll tell the people I won't take a dime. I won't accept a damn penny in contributions. But when I get there, I'll start tying nooses around people. And what I mean by that is these politicians who steal money, I won't put up with that. You know, um, it's a very radical, radical, radical statement you made there, but uh, I think some people might start to agree with that because there's no control in these politicians. They are stealing every penny they can get, and they're not even making any bones about it anymore. No, 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 no. I mean, it was it was what? Your marathon show? I was talking about Goldman Sachs. Mm-hmm. Bef- before a few weeks ago when the SIC, SEC filed that suit, no one even knew what Goldman Sachs was. I was telling you on this show these people are crooks. Now, here's the thing with Goldman Sachs. The government is going after them for a billion dollars. These people stole a trillion. A billion dollars to Goldman Sachs is like a thousand to you, Triff. It's money, but it's not. This is this is a dog and pony show going on right now. Obama, see, this and is they're all in it together. Oh yeah, well, see, th- I, I want people to understand what's going on between Goldman Sachs and the Obama administration. See, the Obama administration right now is fighting a battle it can't win. You can't beat Goldman Sachs. This th- they own the government. They had the um, Robert Rubin was the Secretary of Treasury for Bill Clinton. Then we go to the Bush. He had Polson, the former um, CEO of Goldman Sachs, working for him in the tre- uh, Secretary of Treasury Department. Then his chief of staff, Bolton, Joshua Bolton, he was from Goldman Sachs. I mean, you don't have to— So you got Democrats and Republicans. Oh, Democrats and Republicans. I mean, who gave uh, Obama more money than anyone else? Goldman Sachs, a million bucks. By the way, you think Obama's going to give that money back? <laughs> yeah, right. It, 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 what's going on right now is a joke. These, You know, I, I can't tell you how many times— on Twitter, I wrote the FBI. I wrote the damn um, Justice Department. I used to call the FBI about Goldman Sachs. I'm like, why are you people not doing anything about this? I can figure this stuff, uh, stuff out in front of a freaking computer. Why are you not doing anything? I was sending them nasty emails. On you know, I just want something done because you know it's one thing if me and you commit some kind of crime, we're going to jail. If Plexico Burr shoots himself in the leg, he gets two and a half years. These politicians steal billions of dollars. Nothing. Absolutely nothing until that changes. You know, you know what you really have to do, Mike. Let me tell you. Start you, over. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to put a cap on wealth, and that's not socialism. You have to make because when you get to say a certain mark, like eleven billion dollars, what do you need more money for? What? And when people get too much money, they start buying politicians, and that's how this whole cycle comes in. That's where uh, communism came in, talking about, well, you, you, these greedy capitalists as pigs, and that's where fascism linked off from communism because uh, both systems are wrong. Both sy- sy- systems are flawed. But the only thing about capitalism, and this is why I always say it's capitalism is the most superior system on this planet, is because the poor people in America, they're fat. That means at least they're eating. It is to- totally, totally, totally amazing what is going on in this country and how the taxpayer, the working man and woman who are listening right now. Holding their ankles. Yeah. They, they're not even paying attention. And they're following these screwballs like McCain, like Obama, with, blind, with blinkers on, with blinders on. They're just, they're just following these people like these people. Uh, you know, I, I, I saw the other day on the, on the Internet a, 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 an organization proud to be a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> proud to be a Republican. Why are, Why would you be proud to be either? They have both, absolutely both, had a hand in destroying this country. Of course. You can look at this financial <laughs> crisis. Why, 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 and, how could you be so blinded that you're proud to align yourself with one of those screwball parties? Brainwashed. That's how. You're brainwashed. It's only your reason. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that has to be. That has to be. And the media can brainwash. Oh, of course. They tell you what to drink. Mm-hmm. They tell you what to wear. Of course. They tell you what to buy. What to think. They tell you what to eat. You know, it, they even control what you think because it's called controlled opposition. See, Glenn Beck, he's called controlled Wait, opposition. Wait, have you heard my Glenn Beck and, and, uh, impersonation? Oh, no, let me hear it. I mean, I, I, man, I've been working hard on this. Okay. Now, you listen to Glenn okay. Beck, right? Well, I, I try not to, yeah. but sometimes in the car and well, stuff, stuck on 1100. Like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me how. This is my Glenn Beck. Uh-huh. I've been working hard on this. Tell me if I got it down. Go ahead. Okay, ready? <laughs> See that note right there? That's Beck. <laughs> is that? Now, do I have it down or uh, what? A dead ringer. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it is totally amazing. How people, like you said, are just bending over and taking it. 
I, I got to tell you, Triv, this is what needs to be done. And I'm telling you right now, these politicians, whenever they get in office, they can't own any other property. They can't have any stocks, any company. Their, their family members cannot own anything. That's the only way you're going to keep these politicians clean to make sure this is not going to be one of those deals where I'm John Bocherry. Even if I get elected out of office, guess what? My wife already has a job with someone else all lined up. They don't care if they get – I mean, look at the Democrats. They know damn well they're going to lose a, lot, a bunch of seats because of the health care bill. But they still pushed it through because they already got their money. doesn't matter if you vote them out. They got theirs. What does it matter? And until that changes, until you get these politicians in there where they're not allowed to own any property, so they get like, say, two hundred, three hundred thousand a year, that's it. They can't have any more money. Mm. I don't care if it's fair. Let me take a phone call real quick. Uh, WTAM 1100, you're in the air. Uh, Triv. Yes. Got to send you props again. You're the wisest man in the entire world. Mm. Two weeks ago, we called and we were talking about the tea parties, and you hit the nail on the head about if it's a movement, let the people, let me and you speak. Why hire and pay these people? Did you catch CNN today? No. Sarah Palin. Twelve million dollars in one year. And your buddy, Glenn Beck, thirty two million. Now that's not to skew anything right off of the uh tea parties. But that's what he pulled in and they figured probably an estimation of six to eight million from the tea parties alone. Yeah. Yeah. And to quote a great American, Don King. Only in America. Only in America. This is what I'm trying to tell you people, okay? The people that are going to these tea parties, I feel sorry for. Because they mean well. The people that are speaking there do not mean well. Money. Money and self-promotion. Of course. I mean, what does a politician do 90% of his time? Raise money. Time now to get you on with traffic. I, I, I don't understand how you people don't see through a Glenn Beck and certain other people whose names I won't mention. How do you not see through that? Please, how? Please tell me how you can be that blinded. This uh, traffic is uh, brought to us by Sprint and the Ohio Lottery. Here's a man that would never take a penny for a speaking engagement because no one would want to hear him. Buddy Bumper. I would never take money for a speaking engagement. Thank you. I just like my Glenn Beck uh, impersonation. Oh, I promised a lot of people on my Facebook account yes. that I would play this for them. Do you mind? I don't. It's only seven seconds long. Hey, make Believe it, eight. it or not, I've had about eight requests for this. Really? Now, when you get eight requests for what you're about to hear, this may tell you all you need to know about America. Okay. I got over eight requests. Now, that's a lot. Believe it or not, in this business. To hear one thing and one thing only. You ready? Have at it. Out of this, you do your traffic, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> it's always about the tax. Inbound. East Shoreway, just before Dead Man's Curve. The Cleveland Public Power Cam showing an accident that is off to the right side. The CVS Ameritrans on scene helping out. It's about South Slow, Superior to 14th. Slow stuff, 77 South Rockside to Pleasant Valley. And the Metro Health Cam is showing you nice and smooth around the Metro Health Curve. For Oak and Oak, serious lawyers for serious injuries, call 1-800-OAK-OHIO. Buddy Bumper, WTAM 1100, total traffic. This is this. I just got an email from a young lady named Patty. She says, more people need to listen to Glenn Beck. And, and Rush, you get a hell of an education. Two very, very smart men, in her opinion. You see what I mean? Uh-huh. You, I like it when Rush talks about family values. How many times has he been married? Six. Oh, nice. No, five, four, oh, three. Well, some, what does it matter anymore? Family him, values guy. Him and Larry King are going at it together. <laughs> but, but remember, remember a few uh, weeks ago you were talking about Tiger and Larry King? Gary, the numbers guy's in the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you talk about who could top who? Mm-hmm. Well, in World War II, the most powerful tank was the uh, King Tiger. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you, you were talking. You were just. We were just talking off the air. How you, everybody said that the euro was going to replace the United States dollar, including me, including you. What happened there? Well, what it seems that happened is 
well, I have to go through, you know, if people want to understand why we invaded Iraq and everything, they're going to have to, you know, backtrack a little bit. But basically, everything was fo- going to the euro. They were, everyone was talking about the euro, your euro, including me, tr- yours truly here. But what I didn't know at the time was in 2001, Goldman Sachs financed Greece's debt to get in the EU. What they did was they hid 12% of their debt. So as, as soon as the Arab countries were about to switch from the dollar to the euro, what happened? Goldman Sachs released information about the Greeks, the Greek debt, and all of a sudden the euro lost about 15 to 10% of its value. Now, That's how these people play games. They make money on up and down. All of a sudden, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs was uh, attacked, right? Yeah, Goldman Sachs was attacked by the Obama administration. And what happened to the SEC? And uh, Goldman Sachs attacks the SEC right back. Remember, uh, right after right after that report came out Friday about Goldman Sachs stealing money, which me and you talked about months before, mm-hmm. the SEC, a report came out in the SEC that half the people there were looking at porn. When they were supposed to be doing their job. You see what happens? You attack Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs attacks you. And this is not a battle Obama's going to win. Yeah. This is not a battle anybody can win. No, no. Go, see, the, let me just point out one thing before you go to the phone lines. Mm-hmm. Goldman Sachs is a classic example of what happens when capitalistic conspirators get turned on by communists. You see what happens when you start playing with communists? Goldman Sachs sunk the economy so Obama could get elected. They gave him a million bucks so Obama could get elected. And now the capitalistic conspiracies are getting theirs because they're finding out. See, communists are cutthroat. They're going to use you until they don't need you anymore. That's what's going on right now. Uh, WTAM 1100, you're in the air. Yes. Hey, uh, I just want to say a couple of things. I am in total agreement with the way you guys are talking about uh, uh, some of those capitalistic uh, uh, tricks that they're being played. One of the things is that uh, I was on the trafficking show, and we made a kind of a, a thing about gasoline. Only put five gallons of gasoline in your car. Stop that su- supply situation. Let them store it. If you're going to leave your car around for a, a day or so, don't put gasoline in it. And guess what? Our prices of gasoline dropped here in this Cleveland area. And and all through, uh, like, Indiana and so on and so forth, their gasoline stayed at that high price. So all i got to say to Cleveland is it's a great thing that uh, a few people listen to this thing here and, and uh, basically drop the uh, gas prices. Also, uh, people that are hearing this right now, if they – if everybody – tells another person that hears this on the radio and only puts a $5 gas, let's see how far we could drop this gas in the Cleveland area. You know, sir, in theory, it sounds like a good idea, but you got to understand if gas goes down, it's because Goldman Sachs wants gas to go down. They make money on the down and up. It's called the bubble effect. When gas was at four fifty a couple years ago, that's because Goldman Sachs traders were trading every barrel of gas 27 times. No one talks about that. They're only going after Goldman Sachs for a billion. Yeah, but the supply, guess what? They're eating that supply. Somebody's got to store it. And when, and when, uh, when that's the not how the game is. works. Yeah, but the 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 the, 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 it, the a lot of it um, the price fluctuates on futures. Yes, it does. Right now, they're selling gas that people are going to receive in June. Right, and right. you know, people don't understand how the game works, man. Yeah. This is yeah. very very complex. They have something called derivatives, which should be outlawed. <laughs> I mean, it's a joke. What's going on? Imagine this, Mike. You open a, co- a company, you know it's worthless. You tell your investors it's worth a billion bucks. They start pumping money into it. In the meantime, you're selling that stock that's going to go down. You're shorting your own stock. That's exactly what Goldman Sachs does. It sells crap, and then all of a sudden, when the stock goes down, they make money on the down and the up. I know. I have a friend that's in the stock. I mean, I I, I can't win with the stock market. I mean, today it went down how many points? Over well, two hundred points. Did you notice what happened? Mm. Who's, who, who's the Congress talking to today? Mm-hmm. Goldman Sachs. Again, you mess with Goldman Sachs, they will bring the market down. They're, they are that powerful, Triv. They own this company. They caused the Great Depression. I'm not kidding about this. Read about this company, Goldman Sachs. Do the research about this company, Goldman Sachs. You don't have to be what the people out there want to call a conspiracy theorist. It's a global agenda. What is good for global, glo- Goldman Sachs is good for the government. Right now, Obama's trying to win a battle. He, you know, He's trying to divert attention. Nothing's going to come with this. Nothing. Yeah. Well, the stock market went down over 200 points today. Yeah, let Goldman Sachs get dragged in uh, kind of the congressional hearings again. It'll go down another 200 points. And it'll keep doing it until Congress lays off.
They're that powerful. Yes, they're that powerful. What can be done? What can <laughs> nothing? Well, there are a few things to be done, but you well, know, some well, people need some balls. Well, but once it gets, once you get, once you become so powerful, no one can touch you. In essence, but you, you know, because now you control everything, like you said, mm-hmm. including the United States government. Of course, I mean, the, the, what I mean by controlling them, they control the decisions that are made. Well, so how do you stop somebody that's that powerful once they become that powerful? The only way you're going to do it is through violence. And I, you know what? People can say violence doesn't solve anything. Did we win the Revolutionary War by protest signs? There's no way out there you can't win that either. You can't do that. It's impossible. At this point, It's yeah. impossible. At this point, you know what it needs? You need that house to get de- demolished yeah, and to build a new one. That's, that's what you point. really need to do. That's my point. I, I've said this a million times. Forget violence. Violence is not the answer, okay? Uh, I, I, I could see at times where you, you would have to take um, – some type of stance, I understand that, but violence is not the answer. Let me explain the let me, let me explain to you that that wouldn't solve anything. They're too powerful, even that way. Oh yeah, they'd crush you like a bug. Okay, it, it, Here, here, here's my point. You want to correct this? This is horrible. But you want to correct this whole situation? Shoot, it has to collapse, completely I know, collapse. I know, but see, and then you rebuild it. It's like a house that's condemned. When a house is condemned because it's rotted, you don't try to reconstruct those walls. They're rotted. They're shot. They're done. What do you do? Tear it down. And then what? Rebuild. There you go. But Triv, you have to understand that's the whole plan in the first place. But These that, people think five, ten moves ahead, five, ten decades ahead. But they don't want to see it. Re- they don't want to see it torn down because not, then they get torn down. Not totally, but you know, there's an old saying. Um, I think Brzezinski, someone Obama, what was one of Obama's mentors, he said. Before, it was easy to, easier to control a million people than to kill a million people. He said now it's easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. Yeah. That's someone, Obama, that's one of his idols, Brzezinski. Well, the, 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 the thing there is, Gary, which you got to remember one thing, okay? Even the people with money, even the powerful people, all right? If everything comes crumbling down and there's mass chaos in this country and in this world, they're in danger, too. So they don't want that. You're talking about the rich people, maybe like a team sports owner. They're but still in danger. The the top of the pack, you're never going to get them, True. The top of the game, they they the queen bought the whole state of uh, Colorado. I mean, come on. You're not going to stop these people, the top of the game. What you can do is you can go after these politicians. You can try to change them. But, you know, it's just one puppet being replaced for another. Yeah. I, I don't know what you can do. I really don't. It, it, it is. Too, I, I don't. I don't think I mean, we can say on the air what we can do. No, and, and, and I think it's to a point now where seriously, where we we really have to fall in some hard times. Yeah. I, I think that's the only way this country is going to be saved is you have to fall in some hard times, because I think there's a whole generation that really doesn't understand what hard times are, oh, okay. and what this is all about. There's a whole generation that think this just appeared here. Yeah, they do. They think that no one died, no one, no one fought for this, no one sacrificed for this. This whole thing, this whole freedom thing, just appeared. They, that, there's a whole generation, generations that think that. And you tell people about Georgia, you know, they don't even know where that's at. And people yeah. don't even understand what a, a goddamn stock is. Georgia's right above Florida. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, well, people well. don't get that. <laughs> Gary, the numbers guy, will be back. Hi, this is Ray Davis. I'm not here to take your call right now. Please leave your name and number, and I will get back to you just as soon as possible. Your call can be used on the air. You know, tell Travis Sano that I'm sick and tired of him being such a hypocrite. He constantly goes off on that pig Tiger Woods for cheating on his wife, and then I hear him yesterday wanting to legalize prostitution. You know, that's just pathetic. And then I catch one of my kids looking at his webpage where they're playing with that exercise equipment like it's a sex toy. You know, I use the shake weight all the time. I have it in my hand right now, and it's great at keeping my arms toned. Woo! Woo! He's such a pervert. And I'm still waiting for the call back. I can pick up the phone. So can you. To respond or forward, press 1. To delete, press star D. Deleted. All right, uh, Gary, the numbers guys in the studio with us. Uh, phone numbers are 216 578 1100 or 216 Cavaliers win tonight by 26. I say 27. Isn't it, today's the 27th? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
Chicago got no shot against I, 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 I can't believe that the Cavs didn't sweep them. And the second round will start uh, next Tuesday or Wednesday for all teams, including mm-hmm. the Cavaliers. So the Cavaliers' next game will be next Tuesday mm-hmm. or Wednesday. And what's Boston going to do against them? Nothing. No. I mean, unless Kevin, oh, if this was the Kevin Garnett of two years ago, okay, we got issues. But not this team. It's just the magic, and I don't give a damn, the Lakers. But I will say this. I've been saying this for three years. Kevin Durant, born 929-1988, will be better than LeBron James in three to four years. I said it right here on the station. Yeah, and I said this a few months ago. This team will win a championship this year. We'll see. Well, yeah, they definitely will win a championship this year. If they don't win a championship this year, you can forget about it. I I, I, I was pretty confident when the Indians were up 3-1 on Boston, too. Yeah, you, no, you, no, you could forget about it. Like you said, the only team I see beating them, the only team that could give them a – I don't see them beating them. The only team I think that can give them a, a series is Orlando. I don't even think there's anybody in the West that can play with them, no, including the Lakers. Kobe's Kobe. The Lakers are in a lot of trouble this year. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble. Kobe's I mean. beat up. The Lakers are beat up. Gasol is born in eighty. That's it, not a good thing. Whatever, whatever it is, the Lakers are not playing like the Lakers did. The, the, the Cavaliers, they only they got to get by one team and one team only. That's Orlando. We'll see, Trey. Because Orlando seems like one of them teams. Now, that kicks it up a notch come playoff time. Well, the thing about it is the way Howard changes the complexion of the game on defense so much because you can't really go to the hole and people settle for jump shots. Mm. And, you know, that's why I believe he's the best defensive player in the game. But this Cavalier team can beat you from the outside now. They can now. It's about Mo Williams and Anthony Parker hitting that three. They can beat you from the inside. They can beat you from the outside. This, this. Yeah. And the and the big boy who was in the not, studio they're, here, they're not losing. The big boy who was in the studio here last week, yeah, he has to man up against Dwight Howard. Yeah, he will, he will, he will. He's uh, and believe me, this is his last year. You see now, he's he's worn down a little bit. You know, here's the interesting thing about uh, Shaquille. And O'Neal. he had a rest. Imagine if he wouldn't have had a rest, what he'd oh, be yeah. looking like. Oh yeah, 38, 39 year old guy. But listen, to this one, you're gonna you know, love. He's him. the oldest Shaq's the oldest guy in the NBA right now. Is that unbelievable? Big boy. Did you know that, though? Yeah. I didn't know that till it was brought up. I heard on your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the thing about Shaq, you're going to like this one. Shaq born 3, 6, 1972, adds up to 28. LeBron James born 12, 30, 1984, adds up to 28. Look at that. Both those guys came in the league and still had an immediate impact. How about the equal sign? <laughs> equal sign. Well, why don't you just turn that equal sign a little bit, you know, to a 90-degree angle and it adds up to a What's that, 11? Looks like an 11, hmm, doesn't Interesting. It? Yeah. Amazing how everything comes to 11, isn't it? Uh, WTAM 1100, you're in the air. Hey, how's it going? Wonderful. Hey, I had a quick question for Gary, the uh, idiot. No, I mean, the uh, Oracle, I mean, uh, the numbers guy. Now, why, 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 now, why? No, 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 let the no, 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 ignorant no, man no, talk. No, 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 why do you want to insult him? He's not sitting here insulting you. Well, he's insulting me plenty of times. How's it going, Gary? Yeah. <laughs> how you doing? So what can we help you out with today? Wait, wait, what what happened there? Did he swear? I don't think so. I think he said insult, didn't he? <laughs> it was close, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever it was, we dumped him. Yeah, right. it was close. It was yeah. really, really close. And was so it? I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit it and let's get it done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I love my fans. I, I thought he said, <laughs> did, did, I don't know. I thought he said insult and I think we took it for something. I don't know. Whatever, sir, you can't swear on the air. We have a delay system. And now the way radio works, it gets boring. Our delay system needs to build up, so we got to go to traffic and take a commercial break. So before we can take phone calls, we have to let our delay system uh, build up because you people out there have potty mouths. This traffic brought to us by Gales Garden Center. Uh, It's not my fault. Don't blame this commercial break. It's strictly on that last caller. Hey, I'm Mike Trevisano for Absolute Roofing, a company that's been around since 1987, family-owned and operated. Whether you need a roof for your commercial uh, 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 property or residential, Absolute Roofing will take care of it. Mention my name, you get 10% off up to $500 also. 216-898-1563 or go to their website, absoluteroofinginc.com. That's absoluteroofinginc.com. You can go to their website and you can see a bazillion qualified, qualified, satisfied, satisfied, customers that's all you need to know about absolute roofing a bazillion satisfied customers think about it absolute roofing inc.com gary the numbers guys in the studio with us we were talking about numbers a uh, number 11 
a lot of 11s all of a sudden in the news people may not be paying attention you know, to. Let's forget about 9-11 or Oklahoma City that was a, added up to you know, 38, 3 plus 8 equals 11. Happened at 9 2 again 11. But let's just talk about the last five weeks. Mm-hmm. Obama, President Obama, Barack Obama, 11 letters in this name. Barack Obama, born 8-4-1961, adds up to 29, 2 plus 9 equals 11. He signed the health care bill, Obamacare, on 3-23-2010. Add that up, adds up to an 11. You know, this is just politics. Let's look at Cleveland, for an instance. Anthony Soule, 11 bodies. That house that blew up. Street, was it? 80, 83rd Street? Eight, 3 plus 8 equals 11. There was 11 pirates, those uh, hijacking pirates that were just in uh, U.S. court. 11. Uh, 11, my, um, I believe, the, from that um, oil platform. 11 miners missing, still can't be found. In the miners, 29 miners down, died in West Virginia. 2 plus 9 equals 11. And the last um, huge m- mining disaster in America in 1970, 38 people died. Which is a fact, okay, which kills me all the time. Speaking of 11, tell them about this radio station. 1100 started broadcasting at 50,000 watts on 1111. Go ahead. Tell, tell me I'm crazy. Go ahead. But explain it any other way. If if, if you're going to tell me my numerology is all BS, explain it then. I'm willing to listen. Don't forget tonight's Cavs game on television and on the radio. Don't forget you can watch it free on Channel 43. Also TNT, Sports Fox, I mean, the sports, uh, Fox Sports, but you can hear it here on the big one. You know, uh, on this Big little, game tonight. Big game. We'll start our coverage at 630 with you, Andre Knott. You know what? A nice little game I like to play with people. Who's the best basketball player of all time? In my opinion? Well, most people's opinion. Eh, Michael Jordan. Okay. Who's the best football player of all time? Mm, Jim Brown. Born on the same day. Have the same numerology number. One's born 217-1963. One's born 217-1936. All you're doing is switching to three and six. How about talk show hosts? Talk show hosts? Well, uh, the, besides the fact that Rush Limbaugh and Howard Stern have the same birthday and they're both the top two guys in radio for the past 20 years, if you take Rush out the ball game, Glenn Beck... Born 2 1, 1964, adds up to 5. Michael Savage, born, damn, I should know him. Uh, well, he adds up to a 5 2. And then you have uh, Beck uh, Hannity. He's born 12 30, same day as LeBron James. Uh, 1970, he adds up to a 5 2. And then you look at you, Triv, you're a 5 left pad too. Fives just happen to be very entertaining people. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go uh, to the uh, phone lines here. Let's go, uh, George. You're in the air, George. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jeff. Uh, quick uh, comment, and then a couple questions for Gary about Goldman. Um, Gary, the reason the stock market went down today was nothing to do with Goldman in front of Congress. Oh, tell us the then, otherwise. No listen, listen, listen. The stock was up. So the reason the stock market went down is because they downgraded Greek. Bonds to junk. Okay, and who had something to do with Greek bonds, my man? I Goldman Sachs. Agree with you there, but oh, oh you agree with me there. So you called to criticize me. Now yeah. you're agreeing with me. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Schmucks. Yeah. Absolute schmucks on there. So how did Goldman Sachs have? What they have to do with the Greek bond? Well, Goldman Sachs in 2001 they manipulated the Greek currency debt so they can get in the EU. As soon as they got in the U and they decided um, it, they had to prop up the dollar again because every country right now is trying to devalue their currency so they can have more exports, they decided to go after, release the um, information on Greece, and that's caused the euro to go in the tailspin. Mm. So it all goes back to Goldman Sachs. It always goes back to Goldman Sachs. See, this is not just America. This is a global agenda that's being uh, around the whole world. I mean, Russia just passed health care. Australia just passed health care. What kills me, and, and you're, you're, you're on uh, my message board at WTAM.com, mm-hmm. okay, a lot, okay? Why do people always want to attack you? Because the truth passes through three stages. First, it's ridiculed, then it's violently opposed, and then it's accepted for what it is, fact. Those are the three stages. So right now it's in between one and two. I mean, it's amazing how they want to attack you all the time. You know, it, of course, I love the, the, the message boards when they attack me. I don't know what I'm doing, and I have more number one books than anybody in the history of radio. Of course, you know, yeah. you know nothing. Though. Well, I, but I know nothing. Nothing. And I just had my biggest uh, rating uh, 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 increase of all time. Okay, in this that doesn't last mean book anything. That just came out. But there, there are people out there who say that I'm through. I'm done. It's over. The ratings me. are wrong. You yeah. know that. But I'm better than ever right now. It's amazing. You've been listening to me for a long time. Am I not better than ever right now? Triv, you talk about stuff other people won't touch. Yeah. 
See, I love it. I was just down there during break checking it out. And Where someone, are you? I'm heading. Uh, Seth's at the controls right oh, now. I, you, I can't see with the reflection. Oh, you're, I'm sorry. You're, you're in there, right? Yes, I'm here. Yes, you scared me half to death. I apologize. No problem. But I checked the message boards, scoping it out, mm-hmm. and someone put on their WTAM webcam and put, Triv looks real fat today. I lost 21 pounds, by I the know. way. So I just simply, re- I simply replied, hey, thanks for logging on to WTAM. Dot com and checking you and Gary out. So, you know, tell, tell even them, though they hate you, they're there every day listening. Tell that person I'm yes. not as fat as his sister. Oh, we don't okay. like that on the message boards. Yes. In fact, don't <laughs> let any of that violence on our message boards. You hear me? No, I don't like violence, but if they want to just, just... Just if they say anything about anything you don't like, just delete it. Just I delete it. it. I let them make fun of me, though. Yeah. I, I find that yeah. entertaining. Right. Whatever. Just delete it. I mean, we don't. They, I mean, that's the only thing about message boards is they hide. That's why I don't like them. Internet cowards. I, yeah. They're, they're basically, yeah. You know, they would never say. It. I had this one guy. I did a lecture, um, a numerology lecture on Saturday. Had this one guy who just goes after me in the message board all the time. He met me in person. I didn't hear any lip from him. Yeah. <laughs> and a ni- nice, well, respectful guy when he meets you in person. Well, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> but I mean, you know, me I, the way I grew up. Uh, I, I can argue with the best of them. My, my old man, That's why you're sitting there. <laughs> my old man used to say that I was born to argue. I would agree. You know? But when I'm done arguing, let's go have a beer. Yeah. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to shoot you. I don't want to stab you. Unless they get personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, not even... Well, if it's personal, then that person needs a slap. Okay? That's well, yeah, beside the point. Exactly. You don't get personal with somebody like that, you know? Uh, like some people try to do. That's just that's just disgusting cowards when they do that, and they, they need to get hurt when they do stuff, uh, when, they, when they say certain personal the, things. The law here protects cowards. Right. But uh, wouldn't protect them <laughs> with me, believe me when I tell you. And I, I wouldn't be afraid to why it happened either, okay? But, you know, when I argue with somebody, and there's no, I mean, I can argue politically, uh, religion, anything, and, you know, when I'm done arguing, sports, when I'm done arguing, I'm done arguing with you. Mm. Now, if you get personal... And you want to say something about my wife or my family exactly. or something like that? Exactly. Look out. Exactly. Okay. You know that that's not supposed to happen. No. You know, but I I don't get. I really just don't understand people. I really just don't get them. Well, I mean, people take if they disagree ways. with you, they hate you. Well, that's 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 the liberal thinking right now. See, if a conservative disagrees with you, he's going to tell you his points. A liberal is going to try to shut you down. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. That's what it's been instilled in these schools. Look what you were talking about for the first half an hour. A damn billboard with a white and black baby. That's made there to attract racism. That's what that's there for. Yeah. And you know it. Everyone knows it. But yet no one does anything about it. Right, Frank Jackson? I I keep telling every white that's listening, every black that's listening, I keep telling this. And I'm not trying to exclude all the other uh, races and nationalities and everything. I'm talking about, you know, the Hispanics and the Asians. I'm talking just to the whites and the blacks here for a second, okay? Because we've been around here the longest together, it seems like, all right? Mm -hmm. The same nonsense we're talking about today, we were talking about 40 years ago. Nothing has changed. Nothing. And that tells me that they are doing this by design to fuel, to fuel it. Mm-hmm. I mean, just like you said, that billboard that we were talking about earlier in the show. Are we uh, – uh, uh, nah, we can't uh, play any of that for you. It's too long. But there's a billboard about how breastfeeding is healthy, which I just – if you have to tell a mother through a billboard that breastfeeding is healthy – you, you've already failed. Oh, you you got anyway, talking they, buses, Triv. They got a white baby and a black baby, mm-hmm. and because the black baby has some milk on its lip, they turned it into a racist thing. That was the whole point. Is that crazy? That's the, that's the by design, like you said, and that's exactly what they want. They want to divide people. Divide but, and conquer. Divide and conquer. But it doesn't work because most whites and most blacks see through that. Yeah, but the ones who do see through it ain't going to do anything about it. That's true. That's true. There you go. And the ones that don't are a very small percentage. Mm-hmm. They make all the noise. Of course. The vocal minority. Yeah. Like, it's uh, crazy. I, I, I always talk about, the, people always want to talk about gay rights. You know what? They can do whatever they want, but they don't, I don't want them raising kids. I don't want, let me tell you why. Let right. me tell no, you why. I, no, I agree with you. Okay, I, but I, I'll I, tell I, you why. Because it comes down to one simple fact. The laws of man do not supersede the laws of nature. Remember that. Say it one more time. The laws of man do not supersede the laws of nature. So many times I'm out and about, and I'll, 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 I'll meet a black couple, I meet a black lady, a, a black man, whatever, when we talk, and they tell me, Triv, I love what you say, keep on saying it. Blacks tell me that. Of course. Because 
They see through it the way everybody else sees through it. Now, some don't. There are some militant whites that are going to hate the black man. Never going to change. And there's some black militants that are going to hate the white man for the rest of their mm-hmm. lives. And that's, you're not going to change their thoughts. See, that's what I don't get. You're not going to change those that small minority on both sides. You, you know what I have? Uh, you know, I have a lot of um, black acquaintances too. I, I grew up in a black neighborhood, but then I moved to Beachwood, so <laughs> you didn't take the. You know, I got a little both of both worlds. But let's just put it this way: black people understand this government a lot more better than white people. They're a lot more mistrusting of the government than white people. White people have grown up. Oh, they trust the government more. Black people, they've been screwed so many times yeah they they know exactly what's going on with this government you know that's an excellent point that is an excellent point i i i i I think what you're saying is their eyes are open oh yeah where where the the white community they just think the government doesn't do any wrong oh well how could the government do anything wrong never the majority of whites believe that of course yeah they yeah yeah that's a great point that is a great point uh, there's no that is a very 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 good point our phone numbers are 216-578-1100 or 216-578-1111111111 and Mike Trevisano for Ohio Pools and Spas and we'll get with Gary on the other side of news but Ohio Pools and Spas is a unique company you know you talk about the stock market going down today well Ohio Pools and Spas is growing they've opened their third store in North, North Olmstead one in North Canton uh, one in Mayfield Heights and now one in North Olmstead and Ohio pools and spas, uh, spas, saunas, pools, patio furniture, they got it all. Try the hot spring spas, hot tubs. They're fantastic at Ohio pools and spas. For all their uh, information, all their merchandise, go to ohiopools.com. I have the uh, Cavaliers song. Is this it? Yeah, here it is. Is it? Once the Cavs were down and out, their fans had nothing to what do you think, Gary? Every time I think of the Cavs, I always go back to what happened in 2007. I just can't. You know. Don't worry about it. This is a different year. <laughs> you like this song? It, it grows on you. And we'll be talking with Andre not after the 6 o'clock news, who's down. Uh, where is Andre at? He's at the queue? He yeah, doing? he's there. Yeah. What's he doing? He's uh, actually walking into the building, oh, trying okay. to get some people aligned for uh, interviews. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is he going to have LeBron on and stuff? Maybe. Yeah. Mike Brown, Danny Ferry, all that? All together at once, okay. possibly. All right, no problem. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, we got Gary, the numbers guy, in the studio. Let's uh, go to uh, uh, Eric. Uh, Eric, uh, you have a question for uh, Gary, the numbers guy? Yeah, Trev, how's it going? Uh, go if I was doing any better, there'd be two of me. <laughs> Hey, Trev, um, I unfortunately am on the other end of that uh, spectrum. I have been having horrible luck for like the last three months, and I just, I just meet Gary's. Birthday, you know, birthday. Uh, 1967. 191967? Yeah, and it's like, it just seems like my car got stolen. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. Just, okay. just hold back and listen. You're born in the year of the monkey. Okay. And they're not having good years this year. I mean, stay out of the zoo. Listen. Gary, it, it, Gary, that's, ra- that's racist. I'm just kidding. No, no. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Well, you know what? I don't, I'm not politically correct here, no, so I don't I'm give just, a damn what I'm, people say. No, no. Come I'm, on. Come on. Come on. Gary, go, go, Gary, go. I was only kidding around. Yeah, he's only okay, kidding. Explain okay. real quick. Okay. Me. Every 12 years, there's a different cycle in Chinese astrology. And every 12 years, you get hit. Let me give you an example. Saddam Hussein is born in 1937, the guy who has the same birthday as your son, 12, uh, 428. But he's born in 1937. Every 12th year, he had a bad cycle. Every 12th year, he got hit. 1991, the first Gulf War. 2003, the second Gulf War. 12 years apart. See how it works? Uh-huh. You know what? And and you said money comes to people born on the 28th. Mm-hmm. You know who was born on the 28th? Jay Leno. Saddam. Saddam. And let's not forget this. The two richest people on earth right now, Bill Gates and Carlos Slim, are both born on the 28th. The richest athlete in the world, uh, Tiger Woods, born 12-30-1984, adds up to 28th. Uh, Verajan, he's born on the 28th. He didn't deserve that contract. Now you know why he got it. Do you want to say something? I was born on the 28th, too. Well, no, that, you weren't. That blows that theory. Yeah. <laughs> July 28th, 87. July 28th, 27. 87? Eight, yeah. I thought you said you were born on the 2nd. No. No? Well, it'll we'll come he, to you, he, though. He lies. I see. It'll I don't come lie to about you. anything. I will come to one you. lie on the show okay. ever. Okay. Let's just put it this way. If you're born on the 28th, it doesn't guarantee you're going to be wealthy, but it does mean one thing. If you ever really need money, it'll come to you. 
That's the one thing it does mean. I like it. Triv, isn't your son born on the 28th? Yeah. Now, is, are you the one providing the money to him, or should you start asking him? No, I, 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 he hasn't asked me for any money, thank God. Nice. That's not going to wood one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. And, you know, people born on the 28th, I'm just telling you, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm in a poker game, mm-hmm. And I ask people, yeah, I mean, I go into Nautica all the time, just ask people their birthdays. They don't understand I'm getting information from them. <laughs> but if someone's born on the 28th, if I'm in the cash game, I won't get in the hand with them. I was downtown. I was just telling these guys when we were walking up here. I was downtown a couple weeks mm-hmm. ago. I got flashed by some girl. <laughs> See? No, I <it> was Pamela. <laughs> I know she went flat and flat. All right, let's go back to the phone lines. It's amazing down there sometimes. It really is. Uh, John, you're in the air. Hey, what's up, Drew? The rent, John. What? The rent. The rent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. Anyway, uh, no offense, Gary, but I'm not really believing the whole numbers thing. Well, you know, um, that's um, up to you, my man. I can't help everybody. But- you're saying entertainers, big entertainers, back in the 90s, Kurt Cobain. The letters in his name add up to 10, not 11. The um, the whole monkey thing, that guy probably just left his keys in the car. I'm oh, sorry. really? Really? Okay. I mean, I- I'll tell you what. Well, well, I find it very, very ignorant when people attack stuff they don't understand. See, everyone who's put the time in to study numerology, to study astrology, they believe in it. The people who haven't, don't. I wonder why. But, John, here, here's the question I'd like to ask you, okay? Okay. If you don't believe in it, why did you take time to call? Because I get bored sometimes. Oh, okay. I guess I'm entertaining, huh? Thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, if you really get bored, then uh, come on over. We'll play some cards one night, okay? Uh, let me go to Emily here. Emily, you're in the air, Emily. Hi, Trev. I have a question for Gary. Yes. Um, I want to know what my future looks like. Your future, Hi. your future looks bright. You are going to meet four guys. And, and wind up with them uh, uh, for a weekend. Oh, 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 just a and, weekend. and three of the four are going to have money. <gasps> and uh, the the fourth is going to uh, cut your grass. Wow. That sounds terrific. Yes. Uh, can you handle it, Emily? Jerry's going to tell me if uh, I, I can No, 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 no. Don't you, worry can, about me. Can you, the ha- can you handle the four guys? Absolutely. Well, then you got nothing to worry about, uh, um, Steve, you're in the air in front of WTM 1100. <laughs> Steve, hey, what's going on? Good none, Steve. What's on your mind? Hey, hey Gary. Shoot. Shoot, 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 favorite, shoot, shoot your, your favorite black guy. What's going on? Oh, how you doing, brother? All right, all right. What's going on, man? Well, I'm I'm just kicking some knowledge on the 50,000-watt monster. What's going right. on? What's on your mind, Steve? Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, for those who don't believe, let, let's just put this out here. Mathematics, okay. If you if you believe in mathematics, and you believe one plus one is two. There's a guy by the name of Pythagoras that is known as the uh, what is he, the, the modern father of uh, mathematics and numerology. Okay. Uh, yes, and numerology. So if 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 if, if you think um, this stuff is just some made up stuff, this is this has been information that has been known and proven for years. The thing is, people are too lazy to study the information on their own. And I'll tell you this. You know, if I had to listen to a lot of the stuff Gary told me, you know, years back when we first got into this stuff, I would have <laughs> saved myself a lot of trouble. Yes, you would have. Well, you know, and thank you for the phone call. I mean, there's a lot to be said about numbers because we use numbers for a lot of things. I'll give you an example. I play a lot of cards, a lot of Texas mm-hmm. Hold'em, okay? You don't realize how, how much you you follow the numbers in Texas Hold'em? What do I mean by that, Okay. Pot odds, of course. The amount of outs you have, which means how many cards you can catch, a percentage to, to win the hand. Okay, mm-hmm. when those add up, that's that's numerology. When that that's numbers. When that adds up, you put your money in. Of course. And you're not doing that off of the way the clouds align. You're no, not doing that not. off of, of of what you believe. You're doing that off strictly out of numbers, percentages, percentages, percentages. Even the stock market. Percentages. Law of averages. Law of averages. Percentages. Numbers. There's a lot to be said about numbers, and people want to just, you know, fluff numbers off like they don't mean anything. Well, you know, I understand when people attack astrology because, you know, it says stuff in the Bible about it, but last time I checked, you know, there's numbers all over the Bible. Last time I checked, the Freemason order has, you know, goes up to 33 degrees. Last time I checked, people use numbers on their license plates, on money, and on their house, you know, address. All that stuff matters, whether people want to believe in it or not. It really does. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, 
I don't know why people want to discredit numbers all well, the time. Well, it, it's because it's something they don't understand, and what people don't understand, you know, first reactions to attack. Mm. It, 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 it helps people's egos. Yeah. Because, you know, when I, when I look at, like, for instance, people say the devil's number is 666. Mm. I say there is no devil. I look at time itself, 60 seconds in a minute, 6 plus 6, 6 plus 0 equals 6, 60 minutes an hour, 6 plus 0 equals 6, 24 hours in a day, 2 plus 4 equals 6. There's your 666, people. It's time itself. Well, if you're saying there's no devil, then you're saying there's no God. I say there's positive and negative energy. I don't believe in the God. I believe in something called the prime creator. I believe to call something a God with so many false gods out there is very disrespectful. Say that one more time. I believe calling an entity the highest power out there a God is very disrespectful because there's so many false gods out there. I will call it the prime creator. Prime creator. Okay. Whatever. Nick. Nick Camino. You, we're going to do Chive Insider? No, not today. Not today? We're not doing it? No. I was going to say, because if we are, you know, you got 15 minutes to set up the equipment. No, we got... <laughs> so it ain't a last-minute thing like yesterday. Okay? Cavaliers, we'll be on. Right. Did okay. you ever talk about Manny Acta and all the levels Oh, yeah. Tell them about that. Oh, man. And so, this, tell, me, all, all, tell me real quick about Manny Acta. All the, all the credit goes to man beat on this one. Manny Acta's jersey number is an 11. He's born on the 11th. And on the 11th... Um, a New York Yankees pitcher uh, crashed into his Skyrise apartment. I forgot the was exact Was it Lytle? Was it yeah, Corey yeah, Lytle? Corey Lytle. He crashed in Manny Acta's apartment on the 11th. <laughs> this guy's born on the 11th. His jersey number's 11 and all of those coincidences. Gary I mean, told on. me this before spring training. I was like, wow, I'm excited now. All them 11s <laughs> and we're still under 500 in April. Oh, well, you know what? You take Chew out that lineup. They're hitting you as a team below the Mendoza line. I mean, what? what I mean, Come what on, Gary. Don't remind us here. Nick, what did I tell you that the, the, the secrets are for the Indians' offense to score runs uh, this year? What would you say? Travis Hafner. Take him out. Grady Sizemore. And what are they both hitting? They're both... Uh, they're both struggling. One's about 190, the other's about 250. A little bit over 200. Johnny Johnny Peralta, he's making money because he's bored out of 28th, but he could have hit the side of a barn. This, <laughs> the, the Indians team offensively will go as as these two guys go. Remember this, Grady Sizemore and Travis Hafner. The they Indians have going mediocre anywhere, years, though. the Indians will have a mediocre oh. offensive year. They have great years, the Indians will have a great year offensively. Mm -hmm. They have bad years, the Indians have a bad year offensively I'm talking about. Yeah, well, uh, I'd love to talk Indians, but Gary would be able to rebuttal <laughs> anything I say with a number. So, well, do you know there was forget that there was eleven Indians, eleven Indians, right? Uh, I, I, okay, I'll go with you on that Whatever. one. <laughs> but you know, baseball itself, it's all about nines and sevens. The best pitchers in baseball are sevens. The guy in Tim uh, in, in San Francisco. Tim Lincecum. Yeah, he's the seven life path. Where Holiday is the seven life path. Because unlike other sports like NBA and NFL where you have to be an uh, athlete, an 11, baseball is a thinking man's game. Think of it this way. One through nine. You have to have 27 <laughs> outs in the game to win. Two plus seven equals nine. You know, you have nines all over baseball. Nine innings. It's a thinking man's game. And that's why you don't have to necessarily be an athlete like John Crook. I mean, yeah. for God's sake. What about hockey? What do you got to be to be in hockey? Eights. A puck. <laughs> <laughs> a what, Trip? A puck. <laughs> <laughs> Who yelled that? Thanks, Steve. Yeah. I'm a Steve. Uh, what was I going to say? What is the Indians' record so far in April? Oh, geez. Right Bad. now they're... Right now they're eight and eleven. Eight and uh, eleven. Didn't they lose eleven nothing the other day? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I thought once they got rid of Wedge, they were going to be twenty two and zero. Uh, come on, I thought we were going to compare. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking. We could only be All nineteen right. and zero at this point. To take a line from Buddy Bumper's vocabulary, hey, I'm just asking. No, you're just saying. It's I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all. I thought when we got rid of Wedge, we were twenty one and zero in April. It's all at Wedge's fault. You know I, that. Well, I just like Bush. All right, this maniac that got him playing, baby. <laughs> unbelievable. This traffic brought to us by, it is unbelievable. You want, to do it? you want to say it again? This just traffic so brought to us by? St. Vincent Charity Medical Center and General Motors. I'm just asking. Here's Buddy Bumper. Well, if we're relying on Travis Hafner, we're screwed. Accident 71 Hold South. Hold on one second. Yes? If you were an Islamic terrorist and... You were going to blow yourself up and kill a bunch of Americans, and your reward was 72 virgins. Would you allow them to put that bomb in your underwear? Hmm. No. Nope. WTAM 1100, you're in the air. Hey, Mike, the only thing I hate more than you being on the air is you being off the air. Thank you. Here's Buddy Bumper. Thank you. Going to play this year? Did you hear what Mike Holmgren told me? Take a listen. He's not going to play this year. Everybody who anyone who's listening, Colt McCoy is not going to play this year. You know what? I looked at Colt McCoy's birthday. 
nine six no nine five 1986 adds up to an 11 that's not necessarily what you want for a quarterback but the fact that he's born in the fifth bingo because the five life paths out there john elway john um dan marino uh peyton manning the the quarterbacks are very good with those fives down with nab that's certain numbers you know they they work better for certain positions hmm. all right uh let's go i, I don't want to do birthdays no, i got i got a question for gary yeah, please shoot uh, if, they, it, if they got we got birthdays on the phone line hang up on them i don't want to do birthdays don't they right? have a something on the wtn web page that you know answer yeah we like got a thousand those. questions you got already <laughs> Steve, where where can they find that? So they don't have oh, to ask Oh man, here. just go to the trip page. You'll see Gary's image there, and it'll take you over to his his page where you can view other people's submissions and Gary's response and, explaining it. And you'll do birthdays there, won't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've yeah. already done go like to a WTAM. thousand. Wtam dot com. Go to the trip page, and Gary will do your numbers there for you. Yeah, your birthday there, I mean. But I've been you, you've been telling us for a long time. Silver, mm-hmm. don't get gold. Mm-hmm. Silver. Mm-hmm. Now, last week I'm sitting at home. I'm watching TV. And I saw my first commercial to buy silver. Does that mean it's time to go? <laughs> that means well, it's time not to buy silver? It, it, you know what? I'll put it like this. When the Chinese government is encouraging their people to buy silver, I, I stick with the silver because the Chinese are one of the two countries in the world that has a surplus instead of like America deficit. So I, I would I would stick with silver. I, I don't see any way to get out right now, especially if all the currencies trying to devalue each other. It's, it's a joke what's going on. You, you follow the Kentucky Derby? I, I need a horse's birthday, Trev. A horse's birthday. Yeah, a horse's birthday, yes. Damn well I need a horse's you birthday. Know, you don't know when a horse is born. You only know what uh, I'm uh, sure someone will figure out when that horse is they born. They only know the but, year. It, it's, it's real simple. Look at Iran, okay? They were born 211. And they, the Islamic Revolution happened on 211, 1979. Every time it's the 11th, Iran announces we're a nuclear state. They announced on uh, 211. On uh, 611, they said they can start enriching uranium. They always do it on the 11th. Come on, folks, but wake up. You want a horse's birthday. Yeah, I want a horse's birthday. If you want me to, get, me to give you any advice, I need a horse's birthday. Drag me nuts here. Horse's birthday. Uh, Bob, you're in the air. You could probably look up Secretariat's birthday, Mike. But I think the way horses go, it's only if they're born, uh, it's it's before a certain uh, month, It's they're, they're a two-year-old. If they're born after that, it's a three-year-old. I really don't think they list their birthdays, the exact day. Oh, uh, okay. Well, th- listen, the reason I called is I have a compliment a, uh, a criticism and a bit of well-intentioned advice for Gary the Numbers Guy. All right, let's start with the compliment. Hurry okay, up. Okay, the compliment is, Gary, I have dabbled in a bit of metaphysics and spiritual matters, and I think you're on to something with the numerology. Either you always make me think, and, and that's a great thing. And uh, the criticism would be um, you talked of armed insurrection, um, what are you going to do against a predator drone? And the uh, well-intentioned <laughs> advice would be, Gary, sometimes you sound angry to me, but it seems to me that you got a lot of good things to say. you got a lot of energy. you got a lot of passion. Okay. You know, you know, win that million dollars and run for politics and well, do something positive. We'll that, you know what, Bob? I, and, and this is what I'm and, – and I truly mean this. I am not being condescending. I'm not trying to be smart here or anything. I really mean this with Gary the Numbers Guy, okay? I've been working with him with one thing and one thing only. The guy is exactly right. And I've been telling you this now for a long time, okay? Anger is bad. You can't win. Okay? If you want to go somewhere and you want to get your message out, you can't threaten, you can't anger. You have to do it with facts and facts only. People are very dumb, Triv. It doesn't matter, Gary. That's the battle you have to fight. When you hit when you go the anger direction, you 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 personally lose mm-hmm. the battle. And until you correct that with yourself, you no matter how much they attack you, you have to take the high road with your information and your facts. Let me tell you one of the reasons they attack you. The same reason they attack me, but in a little different way. They attack me because I'm successful, and that bothers them. There's certain people out there. There's certain people out there that could care less. Mm-hmm. Okay, and there's certain people that that compliment me, but there's certain people that just can't stand it when you're successful. Okay. They can't stand it when you're right, when you're successful, when you make sense. So they can't fight you with facts. They fight you with anger. When you stoop back down to anger, you've lost with them. You have to stay away from that. Everyone's got something to work on. Oh, by the way, shut up! (laughs) I'm doing a radio show that makes the station millions of dollars. Shut up and go somewhere else and talk. 
Clark, kiss my ass. <laughs> I don't know who that was. No Tell them to shut yeah. up. They know the door's open. No anger, Triff. No anger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, touche. <laughs> touche. But you get my point Yes, there? I do. Yes, I do. But y- y- Fight them with knowledge. Because, Gary, there's not many people, whether people think you're screwy or not, that's beside the point. There are people that look at religious people and think they're screwy. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Whether people think you're screwy or not, it's irrelevant. Gary, I'm being truthful. There's not many people that have that knowledge in their head that you have. And you're a young guy yet. You got a lot to learn yet. Imagine how good you're gonna get. But you can destroy it all with anger. I keep te- now. That's me telling you this. We I, get- got you. I, I, I I do my best, Trev. I really do. I, I think I, you respect what I say. Of course. <laughs> you got to get by that. Oh. You want to win this battle? You want to be Gary the Numbers guy? I want to I, I want to do what you do, do Trev, and you know it. Then get rid of the anger. We'll have something to work on. There you go. Because you can do it with facts. you got so much in that head of yours, it's scary sometimes. Oh, well, Where do you get all that? Well, other people were going to college. I was hitting my own books my, the hard, hard way. Yeah. And people are jealous of that. That's why you get attacked. Well, you But know, look how many people love you. Look when you did few. things at the restaurant. When you did the readings at the restaurant, the dinner readings. Not you one. sold them out in a minute. Yeah, not, not, not one complaint. No. And people came because they like you. They respect what you have in your head. Get away from the anger. You'll beat them. You'll win. You'll be something. I will do my best, Trev. All right. We'll be back.